Laura here from What Laura Likes. So we are on chapter 13 of the Handbook for Catholic Moms. And this is our summer book club with other YouTubers here on YouTube. And um, this week was all about fitness. So my message today is hopefully going to be short, but I want to say that it is never too late to decide to become an athlete or at least to decide to become better than you are today. Before I get started, make sure that you also check out the other ladies here on YouTube that are doing this collab. Their links are gonna be down below. I was someone who as a child was very like weak and kind of gangly and awkward and I never did sports. I was never on any kind of team. I don't suggest raising your children like this, but I, just was never encouraged and I was very nervous child a very like um, didn't like to go outside of my comfort zone I never wanted to fail so I was really really good at school but I was not good at PE or anything physical and I just didn't want to like try and no one really forced me to so I didn't and it wasn't until I was in high school that I found you know like workouts like like on video and those video those those initial workouts on DVD then you know led to finding Beachbody which then led to finding um, now I have Beachbody on demand along with thank God for YouTube right you have just workouts galore at your fingertips whatever you want to do is right there as a mom at this stage of my life, I try to do some kind of physical workout every morning. I find that like with most, I think most moms find this, that if you don't get it done in the morning, it doesn't get done. So I've been trying this week, you guys pray for me because I'm going to try to get up at 5 a.m. every day so that like at 6 a.m. I can push play on a workout, get it done, hop in the shower, and move off my day. I've been dealing with this allergy, these allergies, and I've been trying some different things with my food, and so my calorie intake's pretty low, and so I definitely don't want to do anything hardcore like 21 Day Fix. But starting tomorrow, hopefully I can push play, get that done, and you know, when you follow a program like that, what the benefit is that you feel really good about accomplishing something. I am someone who, if I don't follow a video, or if I turn the video off halfway, I feel like I didn't accomplish anything. The other thing that's interesting about fitness that she didn't talk about in this book at all is, um, I don't know if you guys are Catholic and do yoga, but I loved yoga and I have chosen to step away from it and I want to practice it every day. I miss it so badly and I'm just really confused about whether that's something that is a good thing for me or not. I asked my priest in confession and he said that as long as you're doing it for exercise and not doing it for you know any kind of spirituality, you're okay. But then I heard another priest on the radio talk about how, well, yoga is literally like the Hindus, like part of their religion, right? Like their sun salutation is like greeting the sun and bringing this energy within you. And you know, yoga is all about you, your breathing, your pacing. It's you convening with the universe, and it's like, that's not right. That's not what we're supposed to be doing. I've been on the hunt to try to find things that are similar to yoga, and I've done Christian yoga, but they still do like sun salutations. And so, I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. I need to try Soul Core. So if you guys have just tried Soul Core, let me know. I just need to like bite the bullet and do the free trial because I think that I would enjoy that even though I know it's nothing. Someone's always like nothing like yoga. But that is something that I used to just, I mean, I've defined myself as a yogi since I was like 18 and I'm 30, almost 35. So I'm struggling still to figure out what I want to do every day, every morning. I mean, for the last year I've just done yoga every morning. And so I'm trying to find new things to do. I don't love doing cardio in the morning, but cardio is really good for you. So I'm just going to bite the bullet. Um, I do want to uh, say I have two other videos about fitness that I will pin down below. One is just like my top favorite fitness tools that I have that everything, every mom should have. And then my second one is just kind of how I squeeze fitness into my mornings, which I kind of already talked about here, but it might be worth a watch. They're both pretty short. I want to know like what you guys do for fitness. Do you go on walks? Do you involve the kids? Do you do like a hundred push-ups and a hundred sit-ups a day, like spread out throughout the day? Or do you have some kind of goal? I want to start 
taking a walk every morning this week and actually doing like a walk run, like even if I just jog for 30 seconds, I think that forcing my lungs and my heart to work like that when they're just really not naturally <laughs> enthusiastic about it is helpful for me as long as I don't push myself to the point of passing out, which would not be good. But I really wanna know what you guys do for fitness. Just remember it's never too late. So if you're sitting here watching this and you're going, oh my gosh, like I hate fitness, I'm not good at fitness, you know what? Take a walk and write down how long you went for. And tomorrow, add one more minute. And that's all you have to do to get started and change the way you think because the way you think and define yourself is incredibly powerful and the devil wants you to say you're not an athlete. He wants you to sit on that couch and do nothing or, or tell yourself you know, that a workout doesn't count if you only do it for five minutes before stopping. And again, it's not true. Any progress is progress. So you guys, I hope you have a blessed day and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.